That's right, Aaron. And sidewalk repair is just one of the issues that will be discussed here tonight, but it is a big project. The city actually has a list, a priority list of areas in, around town that need repairs or need uh, some attention. And that list is about 37 pages long. Well, today we stopped by some of those places on that list. And let me just tell you, Salinas is not a very rollerblade friendly town. It's dangerous, especially when it's raining like today. I mean, it doesn't rain every day, but when it does, it just doesn't help. It becomes even slippier. Sam lives on a Salina street with some of the worst sidewalks in town. When I go out with my son, and it's hard, especially when I'm tra trying to train him on a bike, I have to get the bike in the car and go elsewhere because that's not safe. The sidewalks along Central are really bad. Because he could uh, take his uh, little scooter to his oh, classes, yeah, right. but he can't because the sidewalks are not all handicapped accessible and with them being so uneven that he can't drive his scooter down them. We asked Salinas residents on Facebook where repairs are desperately needed and dozens of people chimed in with pictures and stories about tripping and falling on broken sidewalks. This sidewalk on Central is several inches off the ground and the culprit in a lot of these cases, trees. When developers come in and build large uh, capacity homes, you know, in certain sections of our city, they want to make it look like a big thriving neighborhood immediately. So they use quick growing trees like the liquid amber tree that creates roots that, you know, basically tangle and break up sidewalks. The city has a backlog of 14 years worth of repairs needed around town. Now they have the funds to make it happen. And we were able for the first time because of Major G put a sidewalk crew on uh, on the street full time. The sidewalk crew alone was able to do 223 repairs last year. And then using a variety of contracts, we we're able to do about 1.6 million in other repairs. And we're hoping to more than quadruple that in the coming year. But it won't happen overnight. It is a long list. It, we're, we're working through it. it. It could take you 14 years to get your sidewalks repaired, but with the uh, new resources, we're speeding that up quite a bit. So that we will have opportunities and many people we heard from today say that they have reached out to the city and in some cases it's been years without a fix. In some areas uh, the city has come by to patch up the problem without a, per a permanent solution and right now we're about to hear from the public works director here at the town hall but he told me earlier today that one way to get higher on that priority list is by participating in the 50-50 program. That's a program where the city will uh, pay half the cost of repairs and the property owner will pay the other half. That's one way to get the work done a lot faster. Erin. All right, thank you, Bianca. So that town hall meeting is going on right now at Sherwood Hall. It will run until 8 o'clock tonight. The new chief of police will be there as well as the mayor and public works director to answer questions from residents.